Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I want to talk about one specific feature built into iOS as well as iPadOS 13. Now, these softwares are currently sitting in beta 5, and I thought this was the perfect time to help app developers as well as Apple improve the user experience. So by the time we all get the final version of iOS 13, we have a better user experience. Now, I've heard from you guys. I read the comments, and you guys tell me your favorite apps keep crashing. How do I get back to developers and help them improve the user experience? And also, you guys have been telling me about all the crashes you have on your iPhones and iPads. I even do have a YouTube community poll where we go down the list of all the crashes and issues throughout all the platforms, all the devices. But in this video, I want to show you how you can improve and help Apple as well as developer give you a better user experience overall once iOS 13 is officially released to the public. Now, let's go into settings and if we head on over to privacy and we tap into the analytics section right here, this particular section here has a ton of options that allows you to provide information to app developers as well as Apple. Now, if your favorite app continues to crash and you continue to have issues, you can do two things for apps. You can turn this feature on, share with app developers. This feature helps Apple provide information to the developer that helps the developer improve the user experience, fix crashes, and other types of problems with the apps that you have installed on your iPhone. Now, this includes third-party applications as well as Apple's applications as well. Now, you can read more in the About for App Analytics and Privacy section by clicking on the blue link. This option is off by default. If you want to turn it on, if you want to go ahead and provide this information to the developer automatically, this is the way to do it. Now, you can also provide the information to developers directly through the applications themselves. For the most part, developers do have a link where you can submit bugs and issues, but this is an automatic sent uh, of the logs for when the application crashes or does something that it's not supposed to do in iOS 13. Now let's talk about the enhanced beta mode as I like to call it or enhanced beta feedback. Now this feature is very similar to the one for the app developer data but this one is for the actual OS. So if something isn't working for you throughout the OS, maybe dictation, maybe settings, maybe an option in particular that's giving you issues on your device, this will help Apple automatically receive that data and fix these issues. Now you can do two things here as well. You can go directly to the feedback application and provide this information to Apple yourself, or you can go under privacy and analytics, scroll down and find the enhanced beta mode or enhanced beta feedback, and this will send the logs directly to Apple. Now keep in mind, a lot of information is being sent. Apple is very clear on what information is being sent to Apple, and Apple also has a link here that will bring you to their website explaining on how they're using this data. Okay, so this is off by default as well, but this will help improve the user experience. Remember, there's so many iPhones and iPads supported by iOS 13. There's a lot of bugs and issues in an Enhanced beta feedback, enhanced beta mode will help Apple uh, fix as many issues as possible before the official and final release of iOS 13. Now, me personally, I have both options turned on, but again, I recommend you read through some of the options here or some of the descriptions that tell you what type of data will be provided to Apple to improve the user experience. But this is the way that you can send all the crashes, all the logs, and all the issues with both the apps that you have installed and the iOS itself automatically without having to go into any feedback or anything. And I think you should consider it. You should think about it. This will help everyone. If you have a separate device for testing, this is definitely an option you may want to consider enabling. And if you have a primary device that you're using and you think this is something you want to do, it would definitely help you and other iOS users uh, with the iOS experience and crashes and issues before the software is released to the public. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was the perfect timing now that we're sitting in beta 5 for iOS 13. We can anticipate another maybe five betas to come. And I think Apple and developers, now is the time to really push as many bugs and fixes as we all can. So just a quick video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this? I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.